everybody welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be about last weekend's princess parties I had two Ariel and one Cinderella actually the Cinderella one was first and it was pretty early in the morning and let me tell you something moms don't cancel their kids princess parties like ever last year we had a, like a foot of snow on the ground the plows couldn't even get up the street to my friend's house where the princess headquarters is and the mom did not care. She's like, you better be here. <laughs> and of course we showed up. And so the day that we had these parties last weekend was not as bad as that, but it was still pretty bad and it was coming down hard. I'm trying to text the owner of our company and see, are these parties canceled or what should we do? Or can you let, you know, can you let them know we're going to be late because I'm going to have to drive like two miles an hour. And, you know, she wasn't awake at the time. It was, it was pretty early. And my assistant for the day was texting me this wonderful new assistant we have named Noelle. You'll all meet her soon. She's wonderful. I truly am so thankful that we have her. She's texting me and saying, okay, I'm going to call the mom. You know, I'm going to see what's up. So I really appreciated that too. Like her taking control and like figuring stuff out. I'm just trying to be responsible and do my job and make sure that these kids are not disappointed because if I don't show up, there's no princess and I don't want to be that person that disappoints a child, you know? They're the whole reason I do this. I mean, yes, I love my job for other reasons. I'm not like a totally selfless human being, but seriously, like they keep me going. And when I was driving to work and I was literally driving through snow, like they had not plowed uh, or put salt on the highway at all. It was really dangerous when I'm driving 20 miles an hour and it takes me 40 minutes, literally, to get to a place that's usually 10 minutes away from my house. I'm just, you know, freaking out. My safety's at risk. That's what I'm thinking of, is those kids and how happy they're going to be when, you know, Cinderella walks through the door. So here's a clip of me driving, which is super responsible. So I really should not be filming right now, but I'm going so slow that I guess I can. The way that you see the roads now, this is the best they've been the entire time. They're actually pretty flat, like roads should be right now. Um, most of the way here, it was just literally driving through pockets. I mean, not pot. It was, before this, it was literally just driving through the snow. Like, just as if you were driving over someone's lawn full of snow. Just, like, nothing paved, um, nothing... Like, it, it's really sticking, you know, they're not salting, uh, at least not yet, so I hope that once I get further down, um, you know, things will be okay. I have my David Bowie on, and I'm just praying, praying to Jesus that we get to work, because this princess party that I have in the morning, it's a Cinderella party, it is not canceled, and, you know, I don't want to let this little girl down, so, alright, let's go probably shouldn't have filmed that don't do that at home or don't do that in the car but yeah what you saw on the road that was nothing I was literally driving through snow as if I was driving through snow in someone's yard like it was crazy and it was super dangerous and I'm just so happy that I have a really good car and I have an SUV that can cut through that stuff because oh my god it was actually really scary <laughs> so I had a Cinderella party first we are leaving for the party now and this is Right now is the time we're supposed to be at the party, but it took us so long to get from our houses to Princess Headquarters. I have an amazing assistant named Noelle who's new, and she just ran inside to get my gloves because I forgot them because I suck, but this is crazy. We couldn't even move out of our parking spot, so I really hope that we get there in a reasonable amount of time. I really don't want to disappoint this little girl. For most other jobs, I would call in and say, look, I can't make it, but I just want to make this little kid happy and I want her to have a great birthday so we'll see <laughs> thankfully the mom was so understanding and so sweet about it like she completely obviously I mean when it's a storm outside like what are you supposed to do the little girl was so sweet and she was super into it at first but then she kind of took a turn in the middle of the party and didn't really want anything to do with us or like whatever so she was just kind of sitting in the corner 
And I was like, okay, we're just gonna go over and we're gonna sit with her in the corner then. You know what I mean? Like, I'm Cinderella, I will, I'm here to entertain everybody, but it's your party, girl. So I'm just gonna sit next to you and read the story. I'm not gonna do a whole setup. Like, I really try to attend to the child whose birthday it is, obviously. And so I sat next to her and had everybody crowd around her and make her feel like the special birthday princess. And she did get more into the story, but that didn't last long and she like got up and walked away. She was like turning three that day. So sometimes the younger ones are not as like engaged all the time. And she went over and she wanted to eat her cake. So my assistant came over to me and said, hey, Cinderella, the parents actually would like you to just sit and eat cake with their birthday girl. Is that okay? Yes, that's okay. <laughs> yes, that is absolutely okay. Yes, I can sit and eat cake for my job. Yes, that's great. So that's what we did. We sat and ate cake for like most of the rest of the party. You know, you never know what a party is going to be like. People always ask me what your typical day is like. It's never typical. It's always different than the one before or the one after. And sometimes you just sit and you get paid to eat cake and hang out with kids and it's the coolest thing in the world. <laughs> this is a little clip I shot after we got back from that first party and we were on the way to the second one. Okay, so just got back from the Cinderella party. We were like an hour late, but the family was super, super nice about it. And now it's time to turn into Ariel. Oh, it's treacherous out there today. So the second one was an Ariel party and we had like just enough time to change and go to the second one and we were on time. As you will see in this clip I'm about to show you, I had an absolutely wonderful time. I shot this after we got back from that second party. Ariel literally just played with these little girls for like 30 minutes straight. Like think about it, when's the last time you just played? Like as an adult, just played. We played with kitchen stuff, we played with puppets. It was just so much fun. They make my heart feel so full. I'm happy, but I'm so tired. Ooh, this party was one of the most fun I've ever had. It was in this weird like play place. I can't I don't know what to describe it. It was like one of those centers that's like made for kids parties, but it wasn't like a gymboree with just like, you know, trampolines and stuff like that. It was all these different rooms. Like there was one room that you could do a puppet show in. There was one room that had like all kitchen stuff which was, that was a huge thing when I was a kid. Like you'd, you'd play with your fake food and you'd make fake food. That, there was that stuff. Then there was like a beauty salon room. Then there was like a playroom with all dollhouses in it and a castle on the wall. And then like all these places have, there was like another room in the back that was like the room where you set up the cake and have pizza and stuff. And then there were just like a couple other rooms I can't remember that were like just different kind of playrooms. And these little kids, Ariel showed up, they're so thrilled, they're freaking out, it was a total surprise. The birthday girl was adorable, there were tons of little girls there, and they basically just had me running around. I literally just ended up playing with them. I mean, we have activities that we do, and I did read a story, but again, I think I didn't have time to finish the story because they wanted me to do all these other things. You know, we have our activities that are set, but a lot of the time the parents will say, can you do this with them, can you do that with them, and in that case, you know, we spend the time doing what parents request. So basically like the kids gave me a puppet show. It was the most adorable thing in the world. They wanted me to play with this fake food and they were serving Ariel all this fake food. And of course she doesn't know what a lot of human things are. So she's like, what's that? What's that? What's that? That's one of my favorite things to do is Ariel is like, not know what things are and then have the kids explain to me. It was just, ugh, it was the most adorable thing in the world. And I literally just ran around. Like I had to take my shoes off and everything, just like all the kids. And you know, it was so fast paced. It was like, we'd play in this room and then they'd be like, Ariel, come on, we're gonna go do this. And okay, Ariel, come on, let's go over here. And okay, Ariel, it's time to eat cake. And then we all ran in the food room to eat cake. And then the people that run the place were like, it's not time to eat cake yet. What are you guys doing? And I'm like, I don't know. And, we're, and they're like, okay, Ariel, come on, we're gonna go do this now. Let's go into the dollhouse room and I played in there and then it was like, okay, let's go to the beauty room. It was so funny because there was a painting on the wall of like all these women in the beauty salon and there was one that had like a cucumber mask on and Ariel was very puzzled by this because she didn't understand why someone would put all that goop on their face and cucumbers over their eyes. It's so funny because one of the little girls was like, you don't know what this is? And another little girl was like, no, she can't wear that because it would just wash off. It's the ocean. And I was like... You're so right, girl. You know where I'm coming from. And there was one girl that was little that was littler than all the other ones. Even though I know, because they always tell us before, I always ask the birthday girl how old she is. And the birthday girl's like, I'm turning five today. And then all her friends were like, I'm five too. I just turned five. I'm five and a half. I'm turning five next month. Blah, 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 blah. And then this younger girl goes, and I'm three. <laughs> 
She was so cute. So then at the end of the party, I was giving hugs to all the little girls. And when there's a big table set up, it's really hard to get around to every little girl and hug everybody, especially in these places where there's just, there's not a lot of room. It's really cramped. So I didn't get to get give every kid a hug. And I was like waving and saying goodbye. And then that little three-year-old girl, she didn't even say anything. She just turned around from where she was eating her pizza and went like this. So of course, Ariel ran over to her on her legs and gave her a really big hug goodbye. Everybody was like, oh, like it was so cute. I hate leaving them sometimes. I would have stayed at that party for an hour longer. Like I was in love with them. So it was such a good time. So the next day I had another Ariel party and I actually have a little bit of footage from that party that I will put at the end of this video. And that one was really memorable too because it was a total surprise as well. And the birthday girl was five so she was super into it and super talkative and she was so excited. And she just wanted to show her whole family like that Ariel was here. So like she literally would just like take my hand and pull me up in front of her like grandpa and be like, grandpa, this is Ariel, this is the real Ariel. And then she'd be like, aunt whatever, this is Ariel. And like, hey, this is my cousin, this is Ariel. Like it was so freaking adorable and it was definitely a memorable party. I also met Santa. Santa came to her party too, what an important person. And it was just, it was just a wonderful weekend of parties and as usual, as usual, I am just so happy that I have this job and so thrilled that I get to make kids happy for a living. It's really, really awesome. It's the best. So I hope you all had a very Merry Christmas if you celebrate it and make sure that you enter my giveaway. I'm giving away a benefit bag full of beauty products. So if you would like to try and win that, all you have to do is be subscribed and you can also go to my Instagram, which is at Capriya Moon and you can find the post on there and like it or repost it for extra entries. So if you are doing that, just make sure that you are subscribed and that you follow me on Instagram and you might win the giveaway. I'm not sure when I'm gonna announce the winner, probably sometime after the holidays. So thank you guys so, so much for watching. I love you all and I will see you on the next one. Bye. Wanna take a walk with me? Let's walk on our legs. Yeah.